Well, spring is all about planting. I'm with Kristen at Hydrangeas Plus. Good morning. Good morning. And so really, we have a great project for everyone to see. We're going to plant a hydrangea. So that is a great idea to do. Yes, and it's a great time to do it. Uh, hydrangeas are fairly shallow rooted. Um, it's more important that you give it a good wide hole. All right, hole. so I'm going to start digging. And uh, this will apply to many of the plants that you see in the garden centers right now, too. A oh, big sure. hole, two to three times the size of the root ball. You may want to amend your soil. We happen to have pretty good soil really right nice. here. It makes, thank you for making it easy. Yeah. <laughs> we have amended this many, many times. But if you have an area that you haven't planted before, you probably would want to add bark or mulch or something to really break up the the density of the soil so it's not as compact because the, the the rule that I always like to think is if you buy a plant for 10 or 20 dollars you want to put at least a 40 dollar or 60 dollar <laughs> effort into the hole. You want to break a sweat. You want to break a sweat exactly. Don't make the roots work too hard. Right. Water is also really important and uh, some people like to put like a booster or a starter fertilizer in the hole. All right. I, I usually don't. Okay. <laughs> Hydrangeas well, are, are pretty healthy. We, we keep them fertilized pretty well um, and not over fertilized, of course. Right. But they, their roots are really easy to get growing. So I usually don't. Maybe some of your other plants might need a jump start. But um, here I'm going to try to put the... Let's look at those roots. Yep, let's get the roots out. Yeah, sometimes you have to step on it, and you're not going to hurt the pot if you step on it. To no, help definitely it. not. Wow, so look, look at, that. at That's nice, nice roots. I like to break them up either with the spray, the spade, or with just my fingers, or some scissors, or pruners, or just let a let, just a little, little bit, bit of loosen them up. Because that'll make, help them kind of get out into this new hole, this yeah. new planting hole. So this is a macrophylla hydrangea. This happens to be one called Sadie Ray. Um, familiar with maybe the endless summer line, uh, kind of in that general family. I do have, I'm not going to plant these, but here's Annabelle. Uh -huh. Annabelle arborescence is usually a pretty shallow root. Um, I usually make the hole a little bit bigger for her because she does clump a little bit and go sideways more so than these do. Paniculata is behind us here. They're very deeply rooted, so I usually make the hole a little bit deeper. But two to three times for the macrophyllas, and the serratas, um, climbers, all those. All right. Two to three times the size of the width, and then about one or one and a half times depth. Okay, did I do this enough? Yeah, it looks all great. Right. So, might need to put a little in all there. All right, and then just what about so, planting depth with the crown at soil level? I do it at soil level or just barely above. Okay, because it might settle a little bit. That's right. You don't want it to go below grade. Definitely not, because then it gets too wet too. Right. Especially and in our rain. And just I should have brought you some gloves. Oh, that's all right. I'm a gardener. <laughs> that's okay. All, all right. right. And just firm it down firm a little bit. Firm it down. And I like to just do a little stepping around right. it. And then do we want to prune it all at this time of year? Not hydrangeas, um, because you'd be oh, cutting look at all the, the buds. Blooms. Yeah, look yes. at them. All right. Kind of a crazy time to see blooms. Definitely. We, we were talking about things. And I like to plant um, even perennials. Not when they're in bloom. Yes, you know, that's some, true. So just it's so much stress for the poor plant to try to get itself established. Right. So I usually try to plant them now or in the fall. All oh, right. And then what about the pink and the blue hydrangeas? Oh what, yes. What are you going to do about that? <laughs> Tell us about well, that. this soil because it's been amended is kind of neutral. So if uh, I did want to get some blue on them this year. I would probably put it down some aluminum sulfate. Okay. Um, that will help help lower the pH, which will help the blue. And then if I want to keep it pink, I will probably add a little garden lime next okay. spring. All right. And the garden lime is very water soluble, so you have to do it over and over right, and over right. again. Yeah, that's true. And then fertilizer. Um, we fertilize in March, okay. and then again after the blooms have been set, and that's usually in June on a natural. When out so here things in the, are established. When the things are established. All right. Yeah. Well, and we are in luck because today is Garden Palooza. Yay! And at Garden Palooza, you're going to have beautiful plants to choose from, and you're going to have all the aluminum sulfate, the lime, and fertilizer, Correct. and the information. And so catalog to come by and grab one of those for sure. Yeah, definitely. Well, you have to come out to Garden Palooza today and see Kristen and see all her beautiful hydrangeas and bring some home. Now you know how to plant them. Everything's going to be just so easy. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for coming.